You're watching Hooked on Utah on KUTV, powered by Ford. It's the first morning of your hunt. We had a great night, we traveled in yesterday. Awesome dinner, I mean, these facilities are phenomenal, but tell me, how are you feeling this morning? I'm excited, I'm pumped. You've served our country long and well, and uh, you both made great sacrifices, so it's an honor for us to be with you today. Sit back, and we're gonna see what these two do. All right. I was contacted by my, my army unit. They had called me. They said, hey, there's somebody that's looking for uh, some, a wounded warrior. About a week later, I received a call from, uh, from Bill Snape. And, and he, he said, hey, this is Bill. You know why I'm calling? I said, no, I'm not exactly sure. He said, well, uh, you want to hunt. And I still, at that point, I, I, I didn't know, you know how, how awesome of an opportunity it was going to be. This has been a trip of a lifetime. I mean, this can't be replaced. Amazing land, amazing animals, and the people that we're here with. We've accumulated um, not quite 6,000 acres total. And we have some of the best genetics uh, in North America, which for elk is basically in the world. I also wanted to raise red deer because I'd hunted red deer in Europe and in New Zealand. And so we have really good red deer, really good elk, and excellent whitetail. I'm appreciative for those people that, that appreciate the service members. It's, it's, it's nice to have, to have people that, that, that care and, and, you know, and it's genuine. I didn't want to go home. It was too tough leaving the first time, so my wife and I decided that we were going to uh, just meet in Germany and spend a couple weeks with the kids and just enjoy each other's company. Took that opportunity to be together for two weeks and made the most of it. I was worried that it was working out too good and that was going to be my last last time I was going to see him. Yeah, it was uh, exactly three days later that uh, that I was uh, I was wounded. Now we're headed to the South Ranch, we call it. It's uh, 1,100 acres down here. Uh, there's a couple of lakes on it, rolling hills. There's some good, uh, good oak timber on it, but there's, uh, there's also a lot of good stag on there. So we're going to go down and see if we can't find a few of them and uh, see if we can get Jeff a stag today. Saying goodbye was hard. <laughs> um, hard on all of us, me and, and the kids really hard for the kids. So, hoping that, you know, we would all be reunited again and all would be well. We're looking for a stag for Jeff. So we're kind of cruising around the edges of the property and we'll start, start glassing and trying to find him the stag that he wants to shoot. First morning, absolutely beautiful country. Jeff's had permagrin on the entire time. As we rolled out, uh, 20 minutes into this, you know, venture home, uh, I remember looking to the right. This was kind of a rough stretch of road, and, and I was expecting some sniper fire, or maybe RPG, or something like that. And, and I just remember thinking that the the Afghan truck that we had hired to, to move our mail was just going too slow. And we knew if we were going too slow, you're always a bigger target. You know, slower is a is an easier target. And I just remember thinking this guy needs to go. He needs to go. And uh, I was looking to the right, and from my left unbeknownst to me was uh, a suicide bomber that came right at our Humvee. I didn't even have a chance to see him or, or shoot at him.
Hooked on Utah is proudly presented by Mountain America Credit Union, your home, your business, your life. Goal Zero, renewable electric power anywhere. Interstate batteries, outrageously dependable. The Kengar Ford Store in American Fork, 800 by Ford. Browning firearms and outdoor gear, the best there is. Kershaw Knife Technology, made in America. Catch the big ones, Gary Yamamoto Custom Baits. Low auto rate ahead, as low as 2.74% APR, only at Mountain America. Apply for your 2.74 auto loan today at your nearest Mountain America branch or online at macu.com. Every once in a while, innovative products come along for the outdoors, and one that we've come across that we're very proud to put our name with is Goal Zero. You know, they make a full line of solar products, lightweight, packable, so that you can have power in the outdoors. Charges your equipment out in the backcountry. It's very small, it's light, it folds up. Gives you the confidence in the backcountry that you'll always have power for your products that you're using for travel, GPS, communication, cell phone. Get one of these. If you love hunting and fishing as much as I do and you're sitting back there thinking, how can I own a piece of Utah? I want you to go to utahsportsmanproperties.com we're right here at the base of the Uinta Mountains. We've got ice cold springs running into these beautiful ponds. They're loaded with steelhead, German brown trout, smallmouth bass. The rich heritage from the Spanish gold mines to the Uinta Mountains right here. This is your dream piece of property. UtahSportsmanProperties.com. Check it out. Man, these are beautiful. Okay, if you're one of those round-the-clock, we-never-close, 24-7 types who doesn't get paid until the job gets done, the last thing you need is a truck that doesn't have the stones to bring home the Benjamins. No problem. Introducing the all-new 2011 Super Duty. Thanks to its all-new Ford-built Power Stroke Diesel, you get it all. The most horsepower, the most torque, the most payload, the most towing, and the best fuel economy. It's payday. The all-new Super Duty. Low auto rate ahead, as low as 2.74% APR, only at Mountain America. Apply for your 2.74 auto loan today at your nearest Mountain America branch or online at macu.com. All of the items shown on this week's checklist can be found right here at Sportsman's Warehouse and online at sportsmanswarehouse.com. Exciting to be here and hopefully we get into some animals here soon. In Utah, um, I usually put in for the muzzle loader for uh, deer and elk. I've taken my boy out the last few years, but we haven't had much luck. We talked about it as a group, you know, we had hoped that when and if it did happen to us, that it wouldn't leave us too badly maimed to where we couldn't function back at home. I got the phone call from him, luckily. And of course, at the time he was telling me he was in the hospital, I thought it was because of his abscess too. He was on morphine at the time, so you know it wasn't until I hung up that my, my brain started ticking going, oh, this isn't good, this isn't good. As the uh, suicide bomber came to our left, uh, trying to T-bone us right as he got to our vehicles when he had set himself off, we kind of rolled about another 100 yards, it's kind of this rolling fireball, and the explosion set me on fire, I was the gunner. And I heard the blast, I, I, and I saw the flame, and then I felt that just excruciating pain knowing that, that I was on fire. I did not meet up with him until he was in San Antonio, and when I got there, I walked right past him and didn't even recognize him. The skin from, from the side of my face had, had uh, sloughed off and had covered my eye, and uh, so I wasn't sure if I'd lost my, you know, lost my eyeball or what, and, and I didn't know, you know, how, how extensive my, my burns were, and I remember thinking that, you know, my, my wife might think I'm ugly or, you know, just kind of these things that go through your mind at kind of a, a moment when you want to be home. Look at that stag right there. Dude, that's a good freaking spot right there. We've got a really unique situation here. This is actually not the stag that Jeff's going to harvest. Um, it's a management animal, and 
this stag got tangled up in some barbed wire and a few things and uh, has been suffering. So they told us when we got out here, if we found this stag that had wire wrapped all around it to, to try and put it out of its misery. Hey, we're here at Allen's camera with Rex Allen. Rex, let's talk about cool DSLR cameras that shoot video and shoot still pics. This is the Nikon D5100. It's a great all-around camera, um, but in video, one of the cool things that this camera does in video is, is it has full-time autofocus. So this camera focuses more like a traditional video camera where if you move the camera and look at something else, you don't have to push a button to make it focus. The camera's just going to focus for you and make it a little bit easier to use for the average consumer. Check them out at allenscamera.net. Come in, tell them you saw this on Hooked on Utah. They'll give you a little discount on your next purchase. It's kind of unique that we found this one stag on all this property, thousands and thousands of acres. Um, broken off horn, wrapped up in barbed wire, so kind of a fun thing for Jeff. He did great. Good kill. <laughs> First time, yep. <laughs> we can go home now. <laughs> <laughs> no, on to bigger and better. <laughs> kind of a bonus, yeah, bonus big, package. <laughs> big bonus. <laughs> Unfortunately, what we have here is uh, this red stag. Obviously, got some wire. Uh, yeah, he's got a yeah you know, that's broken here. It's kind of a sad deal. Kind of tough to. You know, let him let him live like that. That's amazing. That's a stud of a stag. It's that is. Broke I know. It's just too bad. Not bad. That's awesome. I mean, what a neat experience. Um, made a great shot on it. So now we've got some stags bedded down here on the property. We're going to go over, take a look at them, see if there's a stag in there that Jeff wants to harvest, and uh, hopefully he'll drop the hammer on a beautiful, uh, beautiful big stag. That's a cool view right there, everybody. No shooting. Jeff, we want to thank Browning for setting you up with this beautiful Hell's Canyon full throttle camo. Now, you've worn a lot of camo in your day. <laughs> That's right. 25 years in the military, a lot of camo I've, I've uh, had the opportunity to wear. But I'll tell you what, this stuff is uh, very comfortable. In fact, I thought I was wearing sweats. You know, yeah. it, was, it was that comfortable. Next time you're thinking about a camo purchase, I want you to think Browning, Hell's Canyon, full throttle. They've got all kinds of camouflage patterns. You'll absolutely love the way this performs in wet, dry, warm, or cool weather. The cover here is incredibly thick, and what they've got is they've got wide open fields with these heavy wood lots, thousands and thousands of acres. So we, you know, we're moving along trying to spot these uh, red stag and then put a stock on them. And you're looking through this heavy cover, and some of it's just dark, dark hardwoods and uh, it's tough to find these, tough to spot them. They'll blend right in and they're just thick undergrowth and so it's kind of a, it's a really cool experience. That was kind of like a Hartford commercial. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he stops and looks back at us. He just flushed out two nice bucks. One's probably about a, oh, what do you think, Joe, 300? One's 300, and one's around 270. So 270, 300. Nice, but uh, kind of hoping for something just a little bit bigger. That's the goal. Getting picky? No, I don't want to say I'm getting picky. But, uh, I'm not desperate either, so. He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna savor it. Yeah, gonna savor, savor the it. flavor, the experience. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, he's healed amazing. He um, he actually is a little disappointed. He's healed so well because he keeps saying that his grandkids are never gonna believe him when he tells them the story. So he has a, a mark across his face where he lost the skin from, you know, the nose up and you know some scar tissue 
on his hands and in the winter time he still struggles a little bit with keeping that skin from getting tightened up. You know, uh, unfortunately, you either got out, uh, you know, in a body bag, or you were wounded, or you did your tour and, you know, survived it. If he would have been there any longer, who knows what would have happened. He, he was always out. He was the first one to volunteer to be out with his group, and, and they said that he ran more missions than Santa Claus. Was I looked after? I was looked after. You know, they say that there's no atheists in foxholes. I can attest to that. You know, when I was in, in the turret or in a, in a vehicle or, a, or out of patrol that, that I, I was asking for, uh, you know, for help, you know, that, that uh, I was looked after. I know that I was. There, there's no doubt in my mind. Somebody in the thick woods there, bird dogging for us. So they got a couple, they got two stag. They're pushing out. Oh, they got back. They got back into the woods. They're in the thick trees. We're having a tough time getting them out of there. What's happening is we, they spotted some stags on the south side of this woods, this wood lot here. We'll come through it, uh, hoping to find them. And apparently we jumped them out. We were close, but I think did we push them into them? We ended up pushing. Them. Yeah. So we actually ended up pushing another group of hunters. It's all right. We're team players here. That's what it's all about. Been working hard putting stocks on these animals. They're they're wily. Most gun makers just add a new feature to improve performance. Every component of the Browning X Bolt works together to deliver the most crucial feature: total accuracy. The Browning X Bolt, an all-new rifle system designed for total accuracy. Not bad. Let me tell you what, one of the things that makes this fishing so easy is the sensitivity of a Hell's Canyon custom rod. You can feel the slightest tick, the slightest little fish. That, as that fish picks that bait up, you can feel it. Hell's Canyon custom rods, go to the website, check them out. You'll never put a better rod in your hand. Need a better battery? Get an interstate battery. Outrageously dependable. Should have had an interstate. It's time for this week's snapshot of the week. 11 year old Chelsea Weber landed this monster carp while fishing at a pond with her friend. I'll tell you what, her smile says it all. On Matt Dixon's 38th birthday, he chose to take his two boys, Isaac and Parker, fly fishing, something they love to do together. It turns out that Parker was the lucky one on dad's birthday. He landed this monster trout. 
Josh Chili's caught and released this stunning brown trout on the south fork of the Snake River using a huge streamer. The fish in the fall colors are simply amazing. Kendall Johnson took his four-year-old grandson Carson Reese fishing for the first time this summer on Payson Lakes. Carson caught his very first fish, and I'll tell you what, Grandpa says there's nothing better than taking kids fishing and hunting. 12-year-old Wyatt Beckstead from Lehigh, Utah took his very first big game animal with a beautiful 300-yard shot with his 243 rifle. Wyatt, congratulations, you're this week's Snapshot of the Week winner. You've just won an amazing product from one of our sponsors. So we've kicked out, I think four of them. They're on the move, they're getting a little skittish. They get a little nervous, we're pushing pretty good. Which, okay, so we're the tree. See the tree and then the branch that comes okay, down. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, they're moving. I don't want to take the wrong one. We got one broadside to me. Yeah, he's a little guy. It's a good shot, it's a little bit too small. Yeah, they're looking good. Nothing but antlers down there moving. It's pretty exciting. They kind of clump together, it's just a wave of, of antlers. All right, there, there they are. Third one. I love hunting. There's one looking at us that's... Yeah, there's one looking at us. He's looking... He, right behind him, looking away. Looking away. The further... Oh, dang it. Okay, there's one on the, the far side. The one in the front, very front. Got him. You got him. Get another one in him if you can. Yeah. All right, good. Okay, we we're, we're talking I don't know, 200 meters. Standing shot. He's moving. We've been working hard, putting stocks on these animals. They're they're wily. The adrenaline's pumping, dude. I'm fired up, breathing hard, and uh, now we're gonna go see if we can't find his animal. He's just right here. Pretty exciting. Got the money shot. Good kill. <laughs> nice. That is. Woo! Woo! Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you oh, what. He's, he's gnarly. He's been rolling. He's uh, right, probably in the rut right now. I hope you've enjoyed today's very special adventure with the Long family. You know, these two have sacrificed a lot for our country. Jeff being wounded over in Afghanistan, his family sacrificing while he's gone. Okay, everybody shut your <laughs> eyes. There we go. Nice. That was so, it was like, so junior romantic. high. <laughs> that was so banging teeth. Wow, was that our first kiss? Yeah. <laughs> we also really appreciate the people that made this happen. Ken Gar from American Fork Ford. We appreciate Braziers. We appreciate Heartland Wildlife Ranches for setting all of this up, making this memory happen for two wonderful people and an awesome family. Make sure you get a hold of Heartland Wildlife Ranches. They'll set you and your family up on the hunt of a lifetime. Hey, on three, we're hooked on you. Don't look so scared. <laughs> <laughs> we're hooked on Utah.